Step one. Just one swipe of the knife and you're ready to go. <laughs> Definitely not. One eternity later. Okay, and then you simply lift this off. Try not to make this happen. Okay, we've now removed okay, the first so the layer I removed the glass. of glass. Was first of all, I cut on the inside of the plastic. Mm -hmm. And then I used leverage, I pushed the glass in on this side. Mm -hmm. So it came loose. I lifted it and pushed it in and mm -hmm. it kind of zipped, unzipped. Until I got it all the way to here, then I had to crank it in more to make it get loose on the outside to yeah. make to make a gap here mm -hmm. and I cut along the gap. Oh, awesome. Okay, so you want to measure that way. Start it like this. <laughs> Applying of yeah, get a good amount of glue on your piece and then we're going to place it Right there. So now we're going to need a nice little clamp. Clamped down nice and tight. So now you want to do the bottom rail, which is going to go down here and it's going to hold the glass in. So what we're doing is we're having one quarter inch rail and then we're gonna have one pane of glass in the quarter inch rail and we're gonna have one in um, just nothing. You'll see in a moment. But what I'm doing is I'm putting the silicone just on my finger and then rubbing it on like this because I want a really thin layer so it doesn't um, get everywhere. Alright, so I just put the bottom rail in right here. And see that little gap right there? That is where the um, front pane of glass is going to go. So I'm going to put, this might not even be big enough, but I thought I would put a little stopper there. It's actually just the right size and I'm just using this temporarily so that as the silicone dries it, there will be enough space for the second pane of glass to slide in there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we bought glass. <laughs> Got 
couple handles to go be glued onto the doors like that. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting electrical tape on the edges on the top and bottom so that it rides smoother in the tracks. I found this helps a lot. Alright, so I just finished taping up all the edges. What I did is I did the bottoms with electrical tape, and then I did this side here because this side um, will be hitting this handle a little bit, and I noticed on my other tank that the glass actually cracked a little bit where it was hitting the handle, so I put some electrical tape there just for safety, and then I put it on the top, and I left these two sides um, without any electrical tape. So now I'm going to move on to the next step which is actually going to be gluing the top frame back on. But before I do that, I'm going to be removing see that silicone in there? Yeah. I'm going to be removing that because that's going to get in the way of the glass sliding. So we're actually going to be using just this as the track for the glass on the top. Alright, so I tested to make sure the glass fit well in there with this on before gluing it and now I'm ready to glue it to the top of the tank again and then put the glass panes in. I'm just going to go along all the edges and I'm not going to do the front here, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do down there, all the way up there, and down. So, I'm just going to get that um, attached and then I'll get back. Alright, so I'm afraid this is going to start drying, but I just wanted to show you guys how I put it in there. I'm going to stick it on right now. That is what it looks like. This is basically how this project turned out. So I'm going to be lugging it up to my room um, in a little bit. But that is pretty much it. Okay, so I got the tank in here. Okay, I think that is where it's going to be. I just gotta clean it up and get some stuff in it. Alright, so I'm going to be putting in this mat with three square feet of linoleum in here. And I might actually have to trim this a little bit. Well, the handles fell off, so I'm gonna have to reattach those. This is what I've been doing when I don't have a fancy old design. And then I'll just turn it over like this and then prop it up, but I have to have a brick. I'll put the brick there. And this can take up a lot of the cage. So about there is where I want to end. So that takes up exactly half of the cage. But then he's got that nice hiding area. And then what I did with Delilah's cage, which I really liked, was I put a hide under there. So I got all his lights up and he is right there. He is tired because he was actually just sleeping. Yeah, this is his cage. I'm going to let him run in and out and he is going to be a house beardy. Just going in and out as he pleases. 
So yeah. That's it. I hope it doesn't bother Jelly, but Jelly's all the way up here in her own blocked off loft area. Hi, Delilah.